So it's time for a little truth. I am absolutely exhausted. And uh, Amy stopped working on the van about a week ago. She's just like super lethargic all the time, no energy, like headaches. Yeah, so she's really not doing well. And so I sort of picked up the slack and told her, look, don't worry, we're a team. I'll just keep cracking on with the jobs. I wake up in the morning like dizzy. Um, the only way I can describe it is I wake up like almost like drunk. Like I wake up just like, yeah, just like zero energy. I just, I've got to the point where I've completely burnt out. And I, obviously it's, you know, we walked across a country, you know, Jordan was really hard work. And then we were in Egypt and we had food poisoning three times over three weeks. And that was also really intense because I was doing loads of videos about the Egyptians. Then we came back here, we had three days before we bought the van. And I've worked on the van for two and a half months now. And I've probably had a handful of days off. And I haven't let Amy on know because I don't want her to worry. And also I just want to get it done so that she can relax. Like I'm really worried about her health right now. I'm really struggling. And also you gotta understand like a lot of these skills, these aren't things we've done before. Um, you know, but that's what you do, isn't it? Like we did the same thing with Jordan. We weren't experts in long distance hiking. We'd done a couple in Europe, um, but we'd only done a few days overnight hikes. We'd never done six week hike. And we sort of threw ourselves in at the deep end as we always do. Um, and yeah, it worked out, we did it and we're a lot more experienced. The point I'm not trying to make is, you know, we have to learn along the way and that also adds um, a layer of sort of mental effort that's required. Um, and just sort of problem solving all the time. How we're gonna, like today I need to turn this into a cupboard, but I wanna make it so that the tank can come out, which is why I put straps in instead of wood. So I strap these in so that they can come out so you can wash this. But now I wanna have a, something on top of this. There's something that can be removed. A lot of, you know, mental arithmetic and a lot of, um, you know, jumping through hoops just trying to get these little jobs done. I wouldn't change anything. You know, life's for pushing yourself, and these are me and Amy's dreams. And this is the toll, I guess. Like this is this is the price you pay. But anyway, onwards, we keep pushing. It's worth it. Push it up there. Bum 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 bum. And that's what will keep the light out at night and stop people looking in. But yeah, all I did was I just put a bit of Velcro up here. It's good, isn't it? Here I am, late at night, putting together kitchen drawers in the forest, surrounded by little red eyes. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, if it wasn't for the fact that I know they're definitely possums. Every once in a while I see two glowing red eyes. In fact, more than one. Oh, there you go. Can be a little bit disconcerting. There is a bloody koala out here. I cannot believe it. I've never seen that. That's awesome. This is like prime spider and snake territory right now. I'm just in the bush. And it's night, and no snakes in Australia, I believe. I'm nocturnal. Oh shit, hanging off his ass. Which I believe the technical term for that is a dingleberry. He's got dingleberries hanging off his bum. I just hope he's not unwell, because that does look quite odd. He's got such a dirty bum. Australia's most iconic, well, one of its most iconic creatures. How awesome is that? A wet and dirty bottom, cystitis. Yeah. Infected or inflamed eyes, sitting at the base of a tree for extended period. His eyes are actually shining a slightly different color at me, each one. I mean, there's a number here if you want to call it. Is it very, like, wet and dirty at the bottom? Yeah, well, at the bottom of the tree? No, at the bottom of the car. Yeah, it's matted and brown and gross. Now I'm on permanent koala duty until the vet gets here at some point in the next two hours. <laughs> You still there? Has it moved? No. Nope. 
And he's definitely got a dirty bum. Oh, 100 percent, mate. Him. He's on the right, sort of right hand side. Yeah, you got it. Oh no, other side. Oh, he's going higher. Uh, he's going up, he's going up. Oh, 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 no, nah, you lost him. He's got lots of options though. You'll have to go from tree to tree. If you decide not to come down. Oh. <laughs> the trap itself can come here. That way then. I don't know what bring those panels in. So next stage, we get some panels. This is going to be like a little wall around the tree. So you can't, can't escape basically. When the white panel's not there, right, you'll only see black. Mm. That means there'll be a koala in the trap. Yeah. Okay, so I don't want you to come anywhere near it now mm. for however long it takes. But it might only take an hour, but you can do it from right over there. But you have to be quiet because if you come out here and he's running around the bottom, he'll run back up the tree. Mm. So try and stay away, try and mm. curb the urge come and have a look. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look at what we just found here. That's a big one, isn't it? What do we do with it? Just put it on. You know, I'm pretty sure that's not a nice spider. <laughs> it does look like a nice spider. It's very chunky. You know, this will be the second spider I've taken off the van tonight. <sighs> but my concern is that I'm going to drive along and one of these things is going to run across my bloody lap. It feels, yeah. feels wrong to kill it, doesn't it? Don't kill it. Just, oh, I was going to say that's why I'm going to wander in fast, which is why. This is my wonderful creation to stop the light come out the doors and to give it some trim. It doesn't look the best if I'm honest. So we are now adding this foam stuff Ooh, to the door frame to keep spiders out and also to keep light out. So we've got the rubber bit I showed you earlier that keeps quite a lot of the lights out. And now this just does the final job. Bottom, your bottom right. Nothing. Bottom left. Nothing. Top left. Nothing. Top right. Nothing. Really good. You're really good. Really good, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, really good. We don't tend to get this problem in London. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I've been here over 50 years. There's not a lot of trees you can jump to, though, is there? No, that's what I'm saying, yeah. And they, they miss a lot of the time? Most of the time. Really? So it's a quick death for a koala then, falling oh, off a tree? Oh, no, they get away with it. I've seen them fall 18 metres and run away. 18 metres? Yeah. Good lord. So that doesn't take much pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently they go for the small leaves at the top because they don't drink water, so that's where they get their moisture. So they'll go right out on the branches to get the, the newer leaves. Guess who's back today? Hello. This little <laughs> one. <laughs> so just to give an update, I say this every video, just to give an update, just to give an update. I put this on the microwave, which is pretty cool. It's like a baby lock and you just lift it up like that, and then it doesn't open. This took me all day, literally took me a whole day. But it's basically going to be a cutlery drawer. But it was a real difficult because I couldn't get to it from this side or this side because the fridge can't come out now. It's, it's like screwed, it's like locked in there. Hopefully it works. So we didn't go with a gas oven because they're like $2,000. And we didn't go with an electric oven because we were worried it was going to um, just eat our batteries. So instead we've got, we've got a uh, air fryer which we can fit like, you know, a load of veggies and like potato or whatever in there. A slow cooker. A slow cooker is interesting because you hold this a sec. You can get like 
like five or six meals out of one like this. Mm. Um, you just chuck a load of veg in there, chuck a load of like chicken pieces or whatever, and then just leave for 12 hours, half bottle of wine, and it's like meals for like two days. It uses the same electricity as a, um, as a light bulb does. Um, so for van life, I haven't seen a lot about people using them for van life, but I think this is going to be amazing for van life. Okay, now I need to break the fucking GoPro. Okay, attempt number two. This time, I'm gonna do it a bit more slowly. Fuck, oh, this is hard. Fuck, this is really difficult. Ah! Okay, this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. I might do it from the other side down. Fucking hell, this thing's lethal. Fuck, I can't do this up fucking all the floors up. I'm making such a mess of this. Shit. Amy's gonna fucking kill me. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, oh, it's broken this little piece. Oh. Oh. It will cover my mess. God, if Amy was here, she, she could see this, she would absolutely murder me right now. Right, well at least she won't see the process until she sees the video. Doesn't look too bad, I guess. Whoa! Nearly broke my iron arms. When it grips it sometimes, it just flew there. Whoo! I didn't think this would be such a horrible job, but it's turned out to be one of the most dangerous jobs. Yeah, it's cut here, and it's cut here. The problem is it's getting caught, because it's not a flat piece of metal. I don't know what to do. I, I can't get the angle grinder in there. It's too tight of a space. I can't get the jigsaw in there, because it's too deep. So, nothing I can do but continue, really. My wrist is going to be screwed after this. I'm going to have a go at it now with the metal file. Let's see if I can take these last bits off. Woo! Thank God for that. You may be wondering why I'm doing this. It's because all the cool air will be underneath the van. So, when it's hot, we want to be drawing cool air up through the van and through the roof vents. So I'm putting one there and one under there. And thank God there's only minor damage. And this one, this one went a lot more smoothly. So these are the things that I sick effects yesterday that are gonna go underneath. And as you can see, I've cut the uh, mozzy net, uh, bug net to stop critters coming in underneath. And I'm just gonna make sure that handbrake is definitely on <laughs> before I crawl underneath. Okay, yeah, that's good. Oh, don't drip it on my face. Right, so that's that done. I'll probably do another layer. I've put a couple sticks under there to just sort of prop it up. I managed to ruin yet another t-shirt and I rolled around in it. So another nice sports top ruined. It's cost me a bloody wardrobe doing this van. So that's the fuel tank there, and that's the toilet there, not ideal, but it looks like I can put them just on this edge here. That's kind of the only spot along here I can do. Ah, 
Basically, this is catching, slamming into the side here. Lucky I didn't break my thumb. You can see here, it's swollen up like a bloody balloon. Look at all the cuts. <laughs> Just covered in them. Can't take the toilet out because it's sick of flexed in and bolted like tons into the floor. This is one of those things where you just keep going even though you hurt yourself. <laughs> I mean, I don't see any other option. I'm gonna get a new one of these because clearly that isn't helping things. And we got a new one. You can see the old one. It's got it's got teeth missing out of it. Um, and this one isn't isn't wobbly. And I got myself an ice pack. Well, this is a dual purpose ice pack. purpose because the alcohol numbs the pain and the cold beer numbs the pain Churchill once said never give in except the convictions of honor and good sense and as you probably gather by now I don't have any good sense so have a beer and we'll go again <laughs> round two baby Look at this, it just like kicks every fucking time. And now a true disaster has occurred. The drill knocked over my ice pack. Unbelievable. Oh, victory! I did it! I did it! What I did was, because the lip goes down on this side, I just tilted the drill, I went in the drill this side, so hovering above the other side of the hole. And uh, it came off in one piece. So I've put two mosquito nets, horizontal and diagonal, and the aluminium net. And I've sycophlex those in. So that should stop bugs, especially the small ones just getting up into the toilet. So now I'm putting some trim on these doors. Personally, I don't think it really needs it. I don't, this doesn't really bother me, but Amy wants it, so. She the boss. Amy was right. That is night and day compared to what it was before. It looks really smart. So we got the board in yesterday. The uh, inverter, uh, Apparently can get quite warm, so I want to make sure that it's got a lot of air because this is going to be empty most of the time. This is where we keep our office chairs, so a lot of air in here to circulate through there and down through here. You know you've been to the lumber yard a lot of times and they give you a free hat. I think it's possible this needs changing. <laughs> Whoopsie. It's actually got wires coming out of it. I noticed sparks coming out the back of it when Amy drove off yesterday. <laughs> Lol. Getting it changed though, so calm down officers. But yeah, it's been a bit of slow progress the last couple of weeks compared to everything else, because I've been doing it alone, but also because Amy's been unwell. She had some thyroid issues, or has some thyroid issues, which is so strange, it just came out of nowhere. We're really lucky it didn't happen during um, Jordan, but basically she, uh, what are you, like low low energy, fatigue, uh, headaches, migraines. So she's got hypertension, hi, oh, sorry, hyperactive thyroid uh, caused by Graves, which is apparently quite common. It's like one in a hundred people have it. I'm not really sure why people get it. They think it's genetic. genetic. Um, so yes, yeah, good. She needs to get medicated now and She's on various different things to sort her out. It's a bit disappointing, it's a bit of a shocker. We've never had any sort of serious health problems before. Um, so that was why things slowed down massively during the, during the last couple of weeks. <laughs> so 
So there we have it, filled in under the desk. It's looking pretty good. And now as well, <laughs> we run out of long pieces of wood, so we're gonna have to get more. But there you go, door done. Thoughts? Great. <laughs> No. <laughs> and now on to the next job, which is we need to get a hole in this woodwork that I did, somewhere up there, so that the wire from the fridge can plug in somewhere. Well, we can do it low, and then we can just run these wires up behind the sink. Yeah, that will work. <laughs> oh, it fit! Oh, thank God it jumped in <laughs> <isn't> it? <laughs> Perfect! if it fits now. Oh, will it fit under that thing? Oh, oh actually. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you've got to pretend that was the first time we put it in. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that's so nice. That is actually really good. We put this in, and this charger here will allow us to plug into the mains, shore power, and charge our batteries. So if we stop at a campsite or someone's house or whatever, we can charge our batteries using that. It's 300 bucks, but just a good fail safe in case it's like, you know, uh, cloudy weather or whatever, we can always charge just normally. Um, it's a good option to have. And then in here, so we connected that up to the shunt in case of like a power surge. And then we're just plugging in the solar and we're plugging in the lights as well. So we should have lights on, hopefully, in the next hour or so. So yeah, we've also just been running lots of wires, like the wire down from the fridge. Uh, just lots of wires today. <laughs> Lot, running lots of wires. Wires everywhere. Wires everywhere. Yeah, and then we double-sided this in, and now I'm just drilling holes in it so that we can have double USB charger in this one, and then I'm gonna put one next to it that will be another 12 volt outlet. Such a big moment. Yes. Maybe it doesn't pop. If we pop. Oh, if we pop. I'm glad you're doing it. Yes. Should, should I be doing this? No. Okay, so red to red. I just feel like if one of us should get electrocuted, it should be me. I just feel like I deserve it more. <laughs> oh, that's the battery monitor going on. Yeah. I'm making sure you're not doing anything wrong, yeah? Well, it's just not, black to black, red to red. I've not really been paying. Oh! Oh! Sparks flew. You I, did something wrong. I didn't. I did black to black. Why would that happen? What the hell? Why do you think that would happen? Okay, cut. The eye protection because I'm worried sparks might fly in my eyes. You can't actually hurt yourself for 12 volts, so I've heard. But actually, hold the camera a second, Amy, and I'll put this one in and it shouldn't do anything, right? So. Ah! Why does it do that? It's actually melted the top. You see that? It's melted the corner where it touched it. Yeah, I know. This is fucking mental, man. One more go tomorrow, and then if not, um, we'll get hold of a real man. <laughs> One that doesn't wear massive goggles. <laughs> you might do. Um, yeah, so we'll get a, an electrician to look at it, but I think I'm confident tomorrow we'll get it going. I hope so. Yeah, no, it's really, it's kind of disappointing. I'm a, bit, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit gutted, aren't yeah. you? It's going to be such a big moment. I turned off all so the lights. So much work. <laughs> yeah. I know, like, it's just our fault and, like, we just don't know everything. Yeah. It'll, I know it's just, it's, like, we haven't wasted time in any way. No. But it's just, like, I wanted it now. Yeah, I'm so excited. I, yeah, I saw a, um video on YouTube but it was literally the same scenario as ours and the inverter was the issue so yeah. I think I think that we'll, we'll be able to fix it tomorrow. Treating ourselves to uh, Guzman and Gomez as a sort of commiser commiseratory burrito. We kind of get Guzman and Gomez for any occasion. <laughs> any bad or any good occasion, any bad occasion. Or just tired. Or just an occasion. <laughs> Um, ah, so annoying! I oh, know, it's a bit deflating. Oh. 